he did have a chance, obviously, because you know he was elected the Republican nominee. So to me, that said enough of where of of his chances of winning. He's made it that far on the same platform, and he hasn't changed his platform. And he he made it that far using all the negative rhetoric. I think I've seen a lot of disappointment and a lot of. Just a lot of sadness throughout the communities I work with. Having this person that that can openly say he's racist and can openly openly comment on like very sexist things, and I think all, we didn't we were so comfortable thinking that there was there wasn't any more like sexism in the world and racism, but you know I think it hit us in the face that like this this still continues and the impact he may have whether it be huge or even small, is going to impact a lot of lives. And I know that as an undocumented immigrant myself, I don't know what's going to happen to me come January. I have no idea if I'm going to still be in school. I have no idea if I'm going to finish my degree or like what options I have because I know that he his ideas are a possibility now. I know that he's going to be able to do that now. He has impacted them a lot in the sense of fear, in the fear and I'm feeling hopeless because now we can't go to rallies and be at the forefront. Now we can't be in meetings demanding rights for ourselves because now we risk being deported if we do do that. Now we can't stand up as much for ourselves because of that fear. You're calling children criminals and making them represent themselves in court. Like you have four-year-olds representing themselves in court. That's unacceptable. We have to fight for these types of things. We have to continue to fight for women's rights and human rights because there's still people that just don't respect each other. I think educating people on the different situation and issues of undocumented people, undocumented immigrants, is very important. Because you have people who think that undocumented immigrants don't pay taxes. You have people who say undocumented immigrants are a drain on the economy. Undocumented immigrants are all Mexican. Or undocumented immigrants are all, are all um, criminals. And they're rapers and, and are rapists. And they bring crime. And they're drug, drug lords. And they do drugs. And that's not true. So I feel like we do need to educate everyone so we can know our stories. We have to tell them our stories. We have, we have to tell them what we go through and, and what we don't get. So they can then go and educate others.